So while we're talking about all of that, <clears throat> please tell us a little bit more about this myth of the core and what we're actually trying to achieve with that, you know, because, I mean, if you think of the core, it's it's right around your body where we all just, you know, try and crunch and crunch and crunch to have these nice abs to show all the chicks and that, that kind of thing. <laughs> and actually, we, we're absolutely useless because we don't have a core. Yes, very true. Uh, and in polo, you were using it the whole time because, you know, if you're riding off, if you're of leading course. up, of course, your core is there. And that's why so many people have such bad backs um, because they have not got that strong core or they'll get very tight hip flexors because they're mm. working overtime to try and support the whole core. So like you said, your core is this whole area here. It's not just those eight muscles that you can see whenever you've done God knows how many practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so the difference is, say your core versus uh, sit-ups, whatever. So like I said earlier, the, the, the core, um, you wanna use compound movements um, that simulate those movement patterns of polo. That's what's gonna be effective. The sit-ups, they're just an isolation movement that if you're, most people yank themselves up as well. You'll see they do a bit of a hip pop and then they yank their neck and shoulders up and last minute their tummy muscles go um, so you're not actually engaging those core muscles um, properly. Um, they're also not working your internal core muscles, which are the ones that reduce, well, that give you that that um, control and stability through the torso. And you're also lengthening your back muscles as you come up. So it's actually a, an awful um, mm. exercise. Anyway, the sit up, you know, most trainers will just give it to their clients because it makes them feel good because they're like, oh, I can feel my tummy muscles working, but you're not engaging them properly. So you could do a million sit ups. You may have some abs, but if you get in the on, in the saddle and you're doing all of this, your abs aren't turning on. The core muscles aren't activated because they're not strong. There's different level uh, layers to your your tummy muscles. So you want to be hitting the deep core ones. Uh, sorry, deep core muscles through the um, movement patterns. So, you know, I'll get um, a client to do, say, a reverse lunge, and at the same time, they rotate. So you're working the lower body, the glutes, the legs, whilst engaging the core and doing more of a functional movement that simulates the twisting rotation in the saddle. That's what's gonna be more effective. So it all comes down to compound movements and functional movements specific to the movement patterns of polo. So even if you're doing like I, I went because uh, I was having huge, when I, I had a neck injury, but I, it transferred into my back and things. And I went online to um, look at how to do sit ups in a more effective way. And uh, the, the way that it was explained by one of the top back experts, lower back experts in the world, he said, if you do those crunches, it's a little bit like a credit card. You bend it often enough, you're going to break it. And he, his suggestion was to pick up one knee, put your hands in the small of your back to support it, get your shoulders off the ground as if there was a, a scale there and keep that scale at zero and do tiny movements like this. He said that actually builds your core, your stomach better than all these lunging sit-ups. Would you agree with that or not? Um, so he was saying more of a crunch, like a smaller movement. Yes, just a little pick it up. Take that, and you never let the scale weigh anything. So you keep your shoulders off the ground and do just these little crunches like this. So you, your core stays under stress all the time. You're not kind of going back and letting it go and then up again and then back and letting it go and up again and destroying your lower back while you're doing it. Would that be something that uh, makes sense or not? Because um, mm, mm. it's an isolated movement, it's not a compound movement. Yeah, I suppose there's more effective movements you can do. There are more effective movements you can do like those compound ones. So something like that I would actually change to do more of like a toe tap, where you're moving the legs up and down, so you're in the same position with the, the body is here, the legs are up here, and you're just tapping them away from you. So you're lengthening. It's all about, I think, the, the most effective exercises are when you're lengthening the core, not shortening it. So a crunch, okay. if you're staying in the length and position, so you're just coming up a little bit, but you're engaging the core properly, that's the difference, is that most people will flare their tummy muscles when they do a crunch or a sit-up. But it's all about bringing it in and imagining you have a corset around your tummy um, so it's tight, you're engaging the right muscles, and then like a crunch like that would probably be more effective. And yes, if it's a smaller movement, you have more control over it and it's not stressing the back too much. 
then yes, I think it would be fine. But I would say more something that would be more, more benefit to you, Gav, in particular for that is an ab press where you're not even moving anything. You're just engaging the core down and then releasing, engaging the core down. So it's, there's no pressure on the lower back or the neck or shoulders. You're just lying down and you're just engaging and relaxing, engaging and relaxing. Um, and that's what I start all my sessions with, with my clients is that, you know, we don't just go straight into doing some crazy things that engage the core. It's about warming it up, engaging the muscles once they're strong enough, then you take it to the next level, which in that case would be some toe taps. Then the next level would be like a cycling legs. Next level, you bring a band in, so you're doing more static stuff whilst moving the lower body. I could go on and on with this, but it's all about I'm kind not, of- you know, I just think it's showing people out there that are listening to this, just how little we actually know about getting fit. And that's the whole point and why I wanted to just chat to you today, just to wake people up there, out there up and say, there's so little we're doing correct, actually to prepare ourselves to play this great game. And it's so doable if you deal with somebody that really knows what they're talking about.